Welcome to another edition of Attract Well Office Hour. I'm, I'm Coach Ashley, joined today by Greg Hillwine, founder of Attract Well. What's up, guys? Hello, hello. We're so glad you're here today. Gonna we topic. are so. Yeah, we are so excited. Uh, we uh, actually kind of went over right before because we're just like, da -da -da -da, let's talk about all of the cool things this can do. Guys, today we're talking about ChatGPT and how you can use artificial intelligence technology with your Attract Well account to save yourself loads of time running your business and creating the things that it needs. Um, obviously, there's so many directions we can go with this. Today, we're really going to focus on the things that are copywriting centric uh, and specifically how we can use them to create the things that speak for us on our website and in the emails and such that we uh, create and send. There is so much more that we can do, and we're looking forward to more like this. Uh, but we are really thrilled uh, to hear from you. Head over into the comments. Let us know where in the world you are, what do you do in your business, and are you already using AI? If so, how? And tell us what you're excited to learn more about. Um, this is a live call that is free and open every week. We are Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern time. This serves as office hours for our community. If you use Attract Well, this is a great opportunity for you to get help with what you're working on, no matter whether it pertains to the topic of the day. And of course, uh, you can get hands-on live support here as well. Uh, so we invite you to let us know what's going on with you. Head over into the chat. Uh, we are, of course, always thrilled to um, learn more about the folks who make up this incredible community. So what we're going to do first uh, is we're going to uh, close out a video and get into some slides, got some brief ones here, and then we're going to get into uh, actually using ChatGPT in your Attractwell account today. This isn't an integration, but you can have two browsers open at the same time, and uh, you are going to want to try the stuff that we are going to share with you here today. Uh, so again, welcome. Thrilled to have you here on Attractwell Office Hours, and uh, let's get into this, you guys. I cannot begin to tell you how exciting this is. It's not something that I have historically used. Uh, it's fairly new in my world. And I already know just after learning enough about this to get started today, I can tell you that this is something that I'm going to be incorporating into many things that I do moving forward. So today we're going to be talking about using chat GPT to create on the Attractwell platform. And specifically, we're focusing on copy, the things that you say. So this will touch on your content, your campaigns, pages, and of course, more. There's so much you can do with this. So we're going to get into what ChatGPT is. If you're not familiar with it, some time-saving ways that you can use it with AttractWell, some best practices, and of course, we will see it in action, specifically generating copy in ChatGPT and bringing that over to its appropriate places strategically in AttractWell for your use. And then of course, we've got live help and Q&A. So if you're here today and you are looking for support, again, whether it has to do with our topic or not, head over to the, the um, Q&A here in Zoom and ask your questions. We are here to help you no matter what that topic may be of the day. And if you want to work together live, we offer this opportunity every week. You can go to attractwell.com slash work review, and you can set aside dedicated time with us on a call just like this when we meet every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. You can have dedicated space for us to workshop your ideas, uh, to get hands on in your funnels and in your site and really get things set up and working the way that you want. And of course, if you are watching this as a replay, if you want to join one of these calls live, you can go to attractwell.com slash office hours to sign up for our newsletter. You will get access, of course, to the link to join the Zoom call and always know what's coming up next. And if you are in the midst of maybe migrating over to attract well from 17 other platforms, because yes, we replace basically everything that you have. Uh, if you're using the internet to grow a business, you can consolidate with attract well. If you're in the process of doing that and you need a hand, if you are working on creating a website that's perfect for your business, but you don't really want to do all of the design work yourself, you want to focus on your zone of genius, there's so much that our team can do to support you. Head over to attractwell.com slash concierge to learn more about the talented folks who can help you get a quote for your project. And of course, hand off that stuff so that you can work in your zone of genius. All right, so let's get into this, guys. What is ChatGPT? So what I did, because I'm not an expert in this, is I asked ChatGPT to explain itself to a coach or a consultant who at least has some you know, basic tech skills and understanding, right? So 
very cheerfully here. Uh, this uh, the chat chat GPT responded uh, by basically saying that it's a computer program that's designed to understand and generate human like language. So it's like a sophisticated chat bot um, that can have a conversation with you using natural language. You don't have to know how to code or really do anything other than have a conversation like you would with a person to get something out of this. So as a culture or consultant, it says that you can use it to help you answer questions, provide advice to your clients, and even analyze their needs or offer personalized suggestions. That's interesting. I don't know how far you would want to go in having AI provide solutions that you are already an expert in, but here's the cool thing that it can help you do and what I really want to focus on with you guys today. You can use ChatGPT to generate text or copy, copywriting for various purposes like writing reports, creating presentations, drafting emails, or in the case of today, writing entire sales funnels, sales pages, webinar scripts, sales sequences that get sent out via email, website copy, you name it, right? So it is based, as it says here, on the GPT 3.5 architecture which is a state-of-the-art language model that it's been trained on with a massive, and I mean massive, amount of text data. So that means that this machine, this, this thing that we're working with, ChatGPT, has a vast amount of knowledge that it draws from. So it can provide pretty accurate responses to a pretty wide range of topics. It's not infallible. You um, obviously are not going to get you know, exactly what you want all the time, but most of the time, you're going to get something pretty solid, right? So, um, so definitely do um, start using this. If you haven't started yet, uh, it's free. They do have a free level. Uh, you should absolutely sign up for it and start playing around with it by asking it questions. And uh, as I mentioned at the top of the call, uh, Greg and I were just talking about how this is something that you not only can use for business, but even your personal life, right? Like you can ask it, you know, what are some ideas of things to do on a snowy weekend in Fargo, North Dakota? What do, what do you do? <laughs> they can give you some pretty great ideas. So um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So let's talk about some ways that you can save yourself a ton of time using ChatGPT with a Track 12. Essentially, and this is what we're going to be focusing on here today, we're going to come up with what to say. If you ever feel like you get stuck, maybe raise your hand if this is you. If you ever felt like you've been stuck with your verbiage, what do I say on this part of my website? If I wanted to write an email that was to get someone to take this action, how would I put it? If you ever felt like you weren't really clear on the best language to use or how to explain something, this is such a great tool. Maybe, for instance, you have stalled in creating regular blog content because of the time that it takes for you to write a thousand word articles and you don't necessarily see yourself having time to spin out and figure out all of those to you know write 4,000 words in an afternoon so that you can maybe block out and, and plan your content for the month, right? This solves that problem beautifully. So excited to show this to you guys. You can use this to create your newsletters if you send those, the copy for them, drip campaigns, and broadcast messages. So if you send out a monthly newsletter, if you want to write a sales sequence, or if you want to broadcast that you've released a new blog post, for instance, you can also use this to research, plan, and create your content. Again, focusing on content creation for lead generation using the blog. This is a, such a cool thing I'm excited to show you guys today. You can, of course, generate your copy to build entire funnels for lead generation and sales. And that can mean your lead magnets, landing pages, sales pages, sales campaigns, scripts for videos, presentations, and literally so much more. There's so much that this thing can do for you. Now, before we get into having it do for us, let's get into some best practices so that we can get the most out of this tool. The first thing that we have to be clear about is that we are really clear <laughs> on what it is that we're asking it to do. Think of this like um, maybe you have hired a personal assistant and while intelligent, this person does not share your expertise. Um, they're not a mind reader. And if you want them, assume like, let's put the, the hat on fully here. We're paying them hourly. And we, of course, want to be able to, um, you know, get our investments worth in the time that we're spending. We want to make sure if we are delegating a task that we're getting, we're giving very, very clear instructions in order for someone else to do the work for us, right? So think about it from that perspective. Yes, you are talking to sort of a robot software program, but you can speak to it um, exactly as you would speak to someone who is maybe hired for, for you to be an assistant. 
you can also, and this is a cool thing I'll show you, if you didn't quite love the, um, the answer that was given and you feel like you might be able to sharpen the, um, the instruction, you can reword your inputs and it will, of course, uh, reformulate its output accordingly. Definitely use examples where necessary. So if you're asking for it to give um, maybe a comparison of a couple of different ideas or approaches, and you want to maybe mention a specific example to be included, if you want a specific example included in that list of things, um, then you obviously want to specify that. If you want, for instance, specific outputs, so if you're writing a blog post and you want this to be greater than a thousand words, then you would want to use the language greater than a thousand words. When you're saying, please write a blog post greater than a thousand words on the topic of blank, and please include blank as one of the um, as one of the examples, right? You can also inform tone and perspective. So tell it again to write that blog post in the way that I just described to you from the perspective of a real estate agent who is dealing with a lack of work life balance, right? Or from a bright and cheerful tone or from a fun and quirky tone, right? You can actually instruct it to write in a particular way, which is really cool. And of course, this kind of comes before anything else that you do. You should be clear on the intent, right? So if you're asking it to do something, write something, you want to know what it's going to be for. And if you tell it what it's for, generally speaking, it's going to know what to do with it. So if you say uh, to write a 10, um, a 10 email, a 10 part email sequence campaign, get all those words in there, uh, write, a, write a campaign containing, containing 10 emails that sells this thing and focuses on this topic, right, or these topics. If you're clear on that, then you're going to get a really great result. So make sure you know what you're going to use it for. Provide specific context wherever appropriate to get better answers. Again, you can just go back and reword your inputs. Um, and, um, and, and you'll see this in action here in just a bit. Open-ended questions are going to get you better results, of course. Um, and remember, and this is an important um, point, I think, especially if you're creating published content. So this is the stuff that lives on your blog. Um, in particular, if you want something to rank in the search engines, I can't tell you with authority because the algorithms for search engines are necessarily opaque. Uh, but I believe that if it doesn't exist already, it's a matter of time before it does, uh, that there is a way for algorithms to detect whether content is AI generated. And search engines have historically preferred to upvote or uprank content that is original. So this is a great way for you to provide a framework for your content, but if you are using this for the purpose of generating content for your brand to build authority in the search engines, please do make sure that you are making it your own. And at the end of the day, it needs to be in your own voice anyway. There's only going to be so much uh, that a robot can do at this point to mimic your voice and your style. So let's go and see it in action. What we're going to talk about are, uh, you know, obviously dealing with our what to say's with newsletters, drip campaigns, and broadcasts. We'll talk about how we create content and some interesting ways to go about this and get into uh, how we can build out funnel and page content using AI with Attract12. Well. So, and of course we will have some space for live help and Q&A here on the call as well. So let's go ahead and get over here into ChatGPT. And I actually want to first begin with, um, let's talk about maybe it, it, it can't do keyword research. It can't search the internet for you. Um, that's about the, uh, the furthest extent that I can explain how this works to you. But if you ask it uh, what its limitations are specifically, it can give you great answers. So I can't ask it for um, keyword research questions specifically, but let's just say for instance, that I am a coach who helps women in real estate create better life balance by setting better boundaries, uh, following a nutritional plan, maybe I'm a health coach, and, um, and following a daily routine, right? So I have a program that maybe does those things. And so I want to attract leads that are women in real estate. So maybe we start off by asking, um, let's head over here and ask, what are the most popular blogs followed by women in real estate. 
All right, so he's going off of, or they're going off of historical popularity and, rep and uh, reputation here. Who are the thought leaders for women in real estate is another, right? So it's, it's still giving us a list of, of popular blogs historically, right? So these are places where you can go, um, where you might actually find uh, information that can give you lead generation sources, places for you to advertise, right? If, you, if that is you, if you are that coach who is the, you know, the, the wellness coach uh, for women in real estate who need better life, uh, health balance, right? Their, their life, work-life balance. Um, these are some of the places where you can go and read more about what these people are, are into, right? Um, and if, of course, in a lot of cases, you may also have uh, been a realtor and um, and have dealt with some of the same problems that you work to solve. Uh, so this may even be supporting um, your own sort of breadth of knowledge of, of what the people in the space that you're trying to reach are tuning into, who they're listening to. Now to that question, who are the thought leaders for women in real estate? Uh, let's ask that question. And you can see here that we have got a ton of folks here as well. So what, um, what we're basically doing here, we're not doing, again, traditional keyword research in the, you know, in, in the sense that you would if you were an SEO expert or if I were one showing you how to do this. But we, we are doing here is kind of working around the fringes of it. We're kind of understanding who is doing what so that we can take a look at what's working. And the next question that we're actually going to ask here uh, is, um, if I were a blogger writing for women in real estate, helping them to create better work-life balance, what are some topics I could write about? And it's gonna give us a bunch of ideas. So we've got time management tips here so far, setting boundaries, self-care practices, and it's giving us some context here as well because we've given it context, right? So what I would encourage you to do is to start looking at these as topics. And then what we're going to do is actually look at some of these things that they are mentioning here in this body of ideas. And we're going to use those to actually create a list of potential blog post topics. So maybe what we can do is, uh, let me see, how about exercise, right? So a realtor is very busy. Maybe they're on their computer a lot. Um, they are on the go all the time, taking calls and going to appointments. They're very active in what they do, but they don't necessarily feel like they have time to have a workout routine. So how about we write a blog post about a workout routine? So how about this? Please write a blog post greater than a thousand words that shares tips to create and keep a gym routine as a busy realtor who is struggling with work-life balance. And there you go. It's going to write you a thousand words or more. <laughs> and, uh, and so what you get to do with this, now that you've gotten yourself you know, a, a nice list of ideas to work from. I highly recommend um, following the previous training that we've done with AttractWell on, uh, on, on creating content, right? Where you actually keep uh, a place, uh, you could use a Trello board for this. You could use a, um, you could use a, a spreadsheet for this, just where you're collecting these topics that you know you want to uh, write about. And then essentially what you're going to do is sit down with your chat GPT, just like this, and ask it to generate that content for each of those topics, right? Uh, you can do this, you know, 20 times in a row. And as you can see, with just, you know, in just a handful of seconds, certainly under a minute here, you're able to generate the body of your content. And you can actually see here, yeah, we've got eight points, a conclusion paragraph, perfect. So this is actually what you can use as a starting point for your blog posts. Like I mentioned before, if this is something 
uh, that's going to go onto your website and something that you want to help you with ranking in the search engines, you are going to want to do two important things. One of these is put it in your own words as much as possible so that this is unique content. And, um, and then of course, add your keyword strategy, make sure that you are um, adding your keywords. Uh, and of course, again, you can check out our more advanced trainings on utilizing SEO on our Attractwell YouTube channel if you wanna learn more about how to do that. Now, once you have put this into Attractwell, and this really is just a matter of copying and pasting, let's just go look and see how we do this real quick. We're gonna copy all this. Copy here. And we're gonna go over to Attract Well, scroll down to blog posts. And we can go ahead and just get a draft ready for this. So we're gonna to go to write post. I'm gonna paste plain text. And of course there is some, you know, there's some work that you're gonna to wanna to do here, right? You're gonna to want to um, add your H1 formatting to your different sections here, right? Um, of course, again, you're going to want to modify the language here to make it your own. Uh, but here, this is um, how to start and keep a workout routine as a busy realtor. So I'm going to go ahead and under advanced options and do again, please watch our um, full length training on blog posts and, and generating content so that you know all the steps that you need to follow here. Um, I am gonna just go ahead and schedule this for publication tomorrow. You are gonna wanna have an excerpt and all that kind of good stuff. You, this is clearly not finished, but we're gonna go to schedule the post. And one of the other things that you're gonna wanna do once you have this done is of course, syndicate this new content out to your people. So you're probably going to schedule this for a bit farther in advance. So. This is something that you can be working on in pieces over time. But uh, what we're going to do next is come over here and ask our assistant to uh, please write an email to my subscribers about the blog post above and encourage them to click a link to open and read the article. There we go, it's giving us a subject line, it's giving us the copy, right? Uh, so once this is done, we're going to copy all of this and we're gonna schedule the blog post, uh, and we're, I'm sorry, we're going to schedule the syndication uh, of this to go out to our list in keeping with when our blog post published. So let's go over here and just copy everything that it's given us. And we can go and schedule an email that includes a link to our blog post. So I'm actually going to open in a new tab, messages, because I wanna come back and grab this blog post link. So I'm gonna go new message. And then whatever your, we're gonna go to one message, whatever your tag might be, if it's newsletter, if it's blog post updates, in this case, we're gonna write an email. If you use saved replies uh, for your formatting, right, then of course, uh, utilize those. Uh, in this case, I'm not, I'm just going to paste plain text here. There's our subject line that needs to go up here. And we're gonna make some modifications. So instead of subscriber, we wanna say their first name, right? So we're just gonna drop that guy in there. And then finally, we're gonna say, head over here now to read the post. And we're gonna come over here, click get link to copy the link. So head over here now, insert link, paste, and there we go. So now we can schedule this to also go out tomorrow when that blog post drops, schedule that. And of course, uh, we still do have some time to go back and modify you know, our writing and add some images and do all the things that we need to do for that blog post. So, that is what it can look like for you to get ideas for your blog posts, to actually create them or even bulk create them, bulk schedule them and put those syndication emails in place. And of course uh, you are gonna wanna go maybe into Canva and, uh, and create some nice images to go along with them. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's how you get that done. Really quick and easy, right? 
So now we can create content for our person. What if we want to get leads for our person? So let's talk about, um, and we'll keep this here. So we've been talking about uh, women realtors who struggle with work life balance. What are some things I might be able to offer them to, let me see, we might be able to offer to grow my list. Let's see what it says for this. I'm not an expert in asking any questions. Here's some ideas. Okay, so a resource guide, an ebook, a webinar. So you can actually get some ideas on some things that you can offer. So let's go with a guide. That'll be a pretty quick and easy thing to offer. So a free resource guide with tips and resources on self-care. All right, so thanks. Again, we're writing to an assistant. I know it's a robot, but write like it's a person. It, it knows how to read and respond like a person. So please create a guide that helps the women we've been talking about create a self-care routine. And this is what we'll use for our lead magnet. You can take the copy that they're providing for you here, and you can take it over to Canva, make it look really cute, export it as a PDF, upload it into a TractWell. You could create a page on your TractWell account uh, that has sections that kind of uh, play this out in a nice, uh, well-formatted way. So it's um, a page that's available by link only. Uh, you could, of course, put links on that page, maybe go off to have them book a call with you, et cetera, however you have your, your funnel set up strategically, right? So we have the guide here. And once this guide is created, however it is that you're going to be giving it away, we are going to want to do a couple of things to turn it into a funnel, right? So the first thing that we're going to want to do uh, is create, um, so we're going to create a landing, so how about this? Please write landing page copy that sells the above guide or that offers the above guide in exchange for their name and email. Perfect. So all this information is here. This is now what you can go and take and put into a page. Uh, or a landing page. You could use either of those two features on a tract well. They are giving you quite a bit of copy here. So this might be something that will look a bit better on a page. Look at this. This is so good. All right. So one more thing that we want to do after somebody opts in on that page in order to get that guide. Um, once they do that, we want to send them an email because they've given us their email address. So we want to send them an email and point them to the guide but we also want to encourage them to hit reply and ask us questions, or we want to point them toward a, an opportunity to get on our calendar or something like that, right? So um, please write a five email sequence. Oops. Please write, it, write a five email sequence that references the guide they were offered or they, they, yeah, they were given. Encourages them to hit reply if they have questions and offers an opportunity to book a free consult with me. Now you have all of your copy for your funnel. <laughs> and so what you're gonna do is you're going to take their subject line and you're going to put it in the subject line of an email and a campaign. You're going to take the body here. You're going to put that into a campaign, right? And so it's giving you these five emails. You're going to go into create a campaign and attract well. 
utilize this copy to build out that sequence. And of course, you're going to create a landing page with the copy that they've given you. And you can connect this campaign to the landing page. And of course, you're going to send them the free thing that they've been offered. And in this particular case, this is somebody who opted in for something. And then on the other side of the opt-in, we are offering them the opportunity to book with us. And so if you've been following the Client Funnel Challenge, for instance, um, that is a structure that we've we do teach there in that course. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for you to have a lot of this stuff pre-written for you. You don't have to think through every detail of it, but you can use it as a fantastic jumping off point to build things out. Now, a final thing that I wanna share with you, and I think this is such a cool thing. Um, and again, there's so many things that we can do with this, but you know, we, we started off by talking about how we can create content, right? So that started out with looking at, you know, what are the blog posts that I could be creating based on this information, right? What are the, who are the trend makers? Who are the, the thought leaders? What are they talking about? And uh, what is the person that I'm trying to reach really into? Now, what can I do to offer them something? So we've got this opportunity here to ask questions, get those ideas and prompts, and then ask it to start writing our content for us, right? Once we've written that content, we then need to send it out to our subscribers. Another thing that you could do is to ask them to, or ask it, to, um, to write you a social media post that gives a call to action to click a link in bio that talks about your new blog post, right? The one that they've just written. And so that's something you could maybe make into an Instagram post, for instance, or a social media post on any of the platforms that you post on. Uh, and of course, having that call to action be for them to go over to your website and read that latest blog post. So we've talked about how we actually get an audience with this. We collect leads with this, right? And start moving them toward a call with us. Let's talk about how we sell stuff, right? Who's interested in selling something? So here's what I did. What I asked first was uh, for this bot, because I was really curious how it would do this. I asked it to sell, to create me a webinar script or a video script would also work here, that sells a $397 program that's designed to help women in real estate create better work-life balance by establishing healthy boundaries, adopting a nutrition plan, and following a daily routine. So what my strategy here is, is I've got a program or a course or whatever, and those are the three main topics or problems that I'm solving, right? And so I'm saying in what you create here for this webinar script, I want you to focus on those topics first before introducing the program and its cost, right? Because that's effective sales, right? We want to really get into the value and, um, and, and the problems and, and our authority and being able to solve those problems before we make a pitch, right? Well, within about 10 seconds, it gave this whole, whole right up here, right? So we can turn this into a script for a video that we create. You could use it as a base for slides. If you want to do a slide-based presentation, that's my personal favorite. And, uh, and of course, there's just so much you can do with this right? Now I ask them to write copy for a sales page that sells the same program. Well, it did, right? And so this is something that you can, again, utilize in creating pages in Attract Well, in this case, a sales page for your program. Now, if we want to have somebody buy this thing, we're not just going to send them to that page once, we want to have an actual email sequence that's going to send them to that sales page over and over again so that they have a likelihood of purchasing. So I asked it to write a 10 message email sequence that touches on the topics and pain points that we've already addressed. It's self-referential. I don't have to repeat the same thing. It knows what it's doing now. It also needs to share a call to action, to click a link to go purchase, and then of course invites them to hit reply if they have questions. And look at that. It gave me the emails, but here's an interesting thing for whatever reason. And this thing is, like I said, it's not infallible. It stopped at email seven. I said, you left off at email seven. Could you complete the 10 message sequence? And here it goes. It picks back up at eight. It goes to nine, right? It goes to 10. So you've got the entire sequence here. And again, what this looks like for you in attract well is, you know, in the case of campaigns, you're going to take it, it gives you a subject line, right? So you're going to create a new campaign. You're going to give it a name. And then once you've got that campaign, you can actually go in and create 
whatever your message is, right? So we can go to write a new message, paste in the subject line, paste in the body. Obviously, again, make it sound like you, give it your voice as much as possible. That really is helpful. Um, people need to get used to hearing from you. Uh, and, um, and yeah, once you've got that done, you repeat 10 times and you've got your sales campaign. Or if it's the five, like I mentioned before, for the lead, um, the lead offer, then you could do that as well. You can also, again, use that copy to go and fill out if you use our sales page template, for instance. Let's go over here and find that. We do have a video training on this. So you can actually uh, use this as a template. And here you go. You can take that copy that it's provided for you. And it can give you those selling points. And of course, you've got um, you know the whole thing to use. Here we go. You've got this where you can break it all down, right? So if you don't feel super confident uh, with the design piece, you can use a template just like this one and just plug in the copy that was created for you, which is pretty exciting. So uh, definitely do check out our additional trainings. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got additional trainings that will teach you the ins and outs of creating these pages, uh, of building funnels. We have an entire course on building funnels. Uh, highly recommend if you are fairly new to AttractWell and you're, you're wanting to take a holistic look at your business uh, that you use our launch challenge, which is free and is sort of like a master program that kind of points off to all of the little pieces and parts that you might want to access and use throughout the process here. So uh, the launch challenge, thank you, Diane, for that great question. Let me go ahead and just get back into share so I can show you. This is available to active AttractWell customers if you actually go under my account settings. You will see if you scroll down that the launch challenge is right here. From there, you can click sign up now and that'll get you access to the challenge. And as of the time uh, that we're filming this today, we do have one more live workshop coming up. Okay, let me see if there's anything in the Q&A that I can get into. And of course, if you're here today and you'd like to walk through anything together, if you want to even iterate uh, some of what we're talking about today, um, we can do that here live as well. There's just so much exciting possibility um, with this new technology. All right, Mark says, is there any necessity to specify that our copy was AI generated or am I overthinking this? I think that that's a fair question. And I think that it's a very gray area, Mark. Um, there's some, there's quite a lot of controversy that is invited by any amount of, of sort of massive shifting change, which this definitely is, whether you, you know, have personally felt the effects of it yet or not, it's coming. Uh, it's, um, it's an amazing thing to begin learning how to use. It is, I believe, the future uh, of a lot of what we do. It's going to be wrapped up in, in being able to utilize tools like this. So the thing is, is... <laughs> A, if you want to know more about the ethics of utilization of AI in your copy as a marketer, uh, then there's probably some folks that are having some well-informed and interesting conversations about this. What I suggest, the, the perspective that I suggest here is, number one, you aren't using AI or I don't, well, in this example, what I've shared with you today, you're not using AI to create intellectual property you're using it to create content based off of your own intellectual property. So you, the inputs that you're providing are your own and you're simply having something use natural language to give you a framework of what you might've said anyway, right? If you're using it for that purpose, I don't personally see any issue with that, right? Um, I, but yeah, I'm definitely not the, <laughs> I'm not a philosopher, got a lot of friends in it, uh, but um, the ethics of this are not really something that, I could really speak to authoritatively. Um, and in terms of disclosure, again, if it's not your intellectual property, I don't see why it would be an issue, right? If it's just supporting pieces, marketing stuff, I don't think that, that would be an issue. Can you show us how to start with this from the beginning? Do we need to sign up? So um, what I shared with you today is ChatGPT specifically. There are other AI tools, but I don't think that any of them are at the level that this is. Um, not from what I've read, not from what I've seen. Um, there is a free level. I have never paid for it. Um, and it is openai.com and you can sign up for it there. Um, I used my personal Google account to create an account. Um, I've already signed up, so I don't think I would be able to sign up a second time. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's free and you can just, just go do it. I really encourage everybody to just start 
playing with this and, and just starting start to learn how to communicate with it to get the results that you want. Um, it really is a lot like hiring someone um, who is, you know, obviously not at your level of skill set, but maybe they're a fantastic researcher and a really pretty solid writer. Right. So it's a it's a clever assistant that you have hired, um, but you need to make sure that you are doing your best to communicate what you need from them so that they can give you what you're looking for. And uh, and if you can practice that and get good at that, the limits to what you can do with this are kind of endless. It's pretty exciting stuff. Um, Nigrit, uh, can we run through mine together? I intend building a funnel using a free course as a lead magnet. You can just let me know the key things to look into while doing that. I would be thrilled. Uh, let me bring you out to chat if that's okay. Would you let me know, actually, before I do that, would you let me know in the chat if, if that would be okay with you? If you're uh, okay to, uh, to come out and speak, would be happy to, uh, to bring you out if that's the case. Okay, let me see. Um, Camille, while I'm waiting here for the response, um, can you put in your original items and have it edit it? I don't think so. I mean, you, you can put in an idea, you can put in a concept, what have you, um, and, and you, you can have it do a lot of things. Um, I don't know that that's a specific capability, but you could certainly try it. All right, Nagreen, if you could let me know for sure. Um, I have a bit of an issue on my computer here and I'm gonna to have to switch cameras and it's going to be a little strange. I have to do this so I can plug in. It's doing a very weird thing. Okay, hello, <laughs> I'm still here. Um, okay, I gotta plug this computer back in. All right, so um, Nagrit, are you able to come out to chat? Can you confirm for me, please, that you are able to be brought out to speak and I will bring you out and we can talk through this together. Just head over, just click the chat and just say yes, or you could even raise your hand for me. And, um, and that will allow uh, me to see that that is in fact something that you are okay with. Let me see, it's not responding to my charger here. Hmm. Okay, one second, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go off of audio and video just to make sure that I've got this thing worked out. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> it's, it's not responding to a charge. Um, okay, so uh, let me see. I haven't, okay, you're here. Yes, I would love to bring you out. Let me bring you out to talk and let's get into this. Hi, welcome. Hi, yeah, Th thank you. Okay, I'm Negrit and I'm, I'm, I'm an assistant to my client. Her name is Felicia. So uh, she's a coach um, and uh, she wants me to help her build a funnel using Attract One. So I've started, I created a landing page for her. I created some courses in her vault. Um, so I, I, I just want to know how the process can be. You know, when they sign up in the landing page, um, they should be added to the vault. So I want to know what happens after being had added. Okay. Yeah, so you actually can design that experience completely. Uh, you can choose exactly how that works. Um, basically, what would happen here if, and because you mentioned you would be using a free course as a lead generator, right? So mm -hmm. if, if the course uh, is in, a, in an attractable vault, basically the, the way that this would look, and I think it might be helpful actually, let me pull up, um, where is that app that I love so much? Freeform. I know I've been here, I have it downloaded. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna screen share and, and kind of just visually walk you through how, okay. how this would be laid out. Um, okay, free form, here we go. Okay, so if you have a free course, actually, well, this is, I think this example could actually work. So um, 
Angela's uh, particular instance here is not, um, it's, it's a book club. She's offering a book club, but instead of, you know, just the book club content inside of the vault, you could have an online course in here. So basically what's gonna happen is, um, is you're going to have a page, right? So in this particular mm -hmm. case, this is going to be page that offers free course. This is going to be a confirmation page uh, that um, tells them to check their email, right? And then this is your vault. You'll maybe have a discussion room. Uh, you might have a page with recordings. Uh, you will, of course, because it's an online course, you're going to have your, um, here this, I'm gonna change this to um, online class, right? So this is actually where your content would be. And then you could also potentially have a discussion room. Let me make that just a different color here. Right, so these are the things that could live inside of a vault. And so this would be a page where you could have other stuff. So this is the course that you're giving away for free, right? Now, um, when somebody opts in, you're going to tag them uh, as a lead. You're going to tag them um, for the course, the name of this course that you're giving away. Um, you're going to want to, in this particular case, Angela has a date-based campaign. Um, what we're gonna do here is, let me delete these guys. So the vault will apply its own campaign. So what somebody's going to see, right? They'll, they'll visually see this, is they're gonna opt in here. Then they're going to go to a next page where it says uh, you've successfully signed up, right? You put something to that effect. Now, please go check your email because we've just sent you an email um, that's going to give you access to what's in here, right? So there's a couple of things that you can do here. Um, the vault has its own campaign. You also have the option of adding an additional campaign. If you're using a course as a lead magnet, then what you're doing is, um, you know, you're basically giving away a course in the interest of generating leads. So what I would assume is, is that you're probably selling, like, what are you selling to these leads after they opt in? Yeah, in the long run, we intend selling books and courses also. Okay, perfect. So then what we'll do um, is you'll just have a basic vault campaign. And so this is just gonna be, they're gonna receive one email that's gonna give them access to the vault. And we have a built-in vault campaign that will work fine for this, or you could make a modification of it. Um, so they'll receive this. So these green ones are emails. But then what you want to also do is create a sequence, right? So this is going to be, um, you know, welcome to the course, right? Or to the community or however you want to frame it. Uh, but then in this sequence that drips after they've opted, opted in, you can be offering you know, you could be talking about the books, you could be talking about coaching calls, you could be talking about other courses. And so, um, you know, this would just be whatever is in that um, nurture sequence, right? And so that's, you, you would wanna create these things, right? So the green that you see here on the bottom would be your initial nurture campaign. So that's what's going to get them familiar um, with, um, you know, with your organization, the expertise, um, the things that you do, of course, you know, remind them to get in here and check out this great thing that they got for free. It definitely would be worthwhile to mention this free thing that they got and the benefits that they get from it. Maybe talk about how they could get even more if they do these things, right? Uh, and you would have that kind of content in this drip sequence that would go out. So you would create a campaign that does that. Um, and then once you have uh, your, your course set up in here, you would just wanna make sure that it at least has the built-in welcome to vault campaign, because that's the email that's gonna go out that says, you know, click here to create your account or to download the attract well app, et cetera. Um, so this kind of takes care of itself if you have that set up, uh, but create the campaign. Um, obviously, if you haven't created the vault already with the, the content that's in it, you'll wanna have that, have the built-in vault campaign set up there. And then what we'll do on the page that we create, and I'm gonna reference this page right here. Um, I wanna show you how we tie it all together, um, how you make that work. And uh, if I could get back over here, I can show you. So if we create a, this would be like um, similar to a sales page, except we're offering something for free, right? So um, I'll actually use a sales page for that purpose. 
I'll just make a copy of this one. And this will be a free course opt-in. And we'll go find it and make that modification. You'll see how you'll set it up. You do need to have the campaign and the vault and everything created in order to do this. Uh, but um, here we go. This will be, what was that course? Let me type in course here. Here we go. So you'll take, you know, more or less like a sales page template here. You will be talking about the benefits uh, of this free course, everything that it does, et cetera, giving them the call to action. Main difference here is, is that you're not putting a price tag, um, like they, they don't have to buy anything, right? Uh, so you set this up to sell the free course. And then in the settings for this page, under leads, when they opt in down here, you're going to put whatever lead tag you want. So maybe this is lead, free course, the campaign. You'll want to attach that, um, that initial nurture sequence that we were talking about uh, at the bottom of that image that I was creating for you. So you'll attach that campaign here from your list. You will want to um, redirect them to some kind of a confirmation page on your site. And we do have um, templates for that that you can use. And uh, and then finally, you're gonna wanna add them to that pre-course vault, right? And so once you've done those things, this now becomes the page that once you save, you can actually use and promote uh, to, get, to capture those leads, to get them access to the vault with the free course. Uh, and, um, and then of course they start receiving that sequence of emails that sell the other things that you offer. Does that make sense? I know yeah, it's a lot. It does. Okay. It, okay. Good. It, it really does. <laughs> good. Can I answer any other questions? Uh, I think that's all I have for now. Okay. Awesome. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Happy to help. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see. Anybody else have any questions or want to run through um, any iterations of this before we go today? How many of you have? Uh, signed up for this and you're already asking it questions and generating your next blog post. <laughs> that is such a very, very exciting thing. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do with this. All right, come on into the chat. We'll be doing that today. Me, me, me. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing it. All right. Well, don't let us stand in the way of your productivity today. Uh, really excited for you to come back. Let us know. Head over to our, our Facebook group, by the way. If you aren't in our Facebook group, definitely come join us. Uh, and of course, uh, we are in there. Our team is in there. Uh, we want to hear your ideas. We want to hear what you're using this for, what you can do. So, so very much you can do. Uh, so tell us what you're up to. Tell us what you're working on. And of course, if you have any requests for topics to cover on trainings like this one, let us know that as well. We do this for you so that you can conquer those learning curves and work smarter by focusing on your zone of genius and having a track well, work in the background, doing all of those other things your business needs to do. So we look forward to seeing you guys back here same time next week. Till then, have a great week, everybody. Take care. <laughs>